fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Zeo Cogs 2-pack from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection from Hasbro. This is another Troop Builder pack, very similar to the Putty 2-pack we got previously. This one has two cogs, you can see one red, one gray, and you can see the artwork here on the front depicting the closed face and the open face. You do get both versions of the head, which is pretty cool. Just some more cogs over here on the side. We circle around to the back, you can see a cool picture of the two with all the accessories and the effect pieces and everything that we get here. So pretty cool artwork, pretty cool packaging. Pretty standard for what we get for the lighting collection, not really much going on in the top or the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and get them out of the box here and we'll take a closer look. So here are the two figures out of the packaging. I think they both look great. Fairly simplistic designs, but very reminiscent of how they appeared on the show. So you have this kind of pink burgundy-ish color. Now I went ahead and put one of the open faces on this one just to kind of demonstrate both. They do come packed in the box with the closed face on both and you get an open head for each so you get four heads total in the box. And I'll show you all the accessories in a moment. But you can see that the finish on this one is kind of a more like flat uh, pinkish color. Whereas the silver one, while parts of him are kind of metallic, some are kind of uh, matte but they all have this kind of like bluish uh, pattern on them to kind of make it seem more metallic. You can see it here on the shoulders as well, on the biceps, down here on the thighs. They both have the exact same articulation, so you have the head on a ball joint, but there's also a hinge as well, so you can kind of look down, look back, and then of course you have the ball joint, so you can certainly look side to side. You get a little bit of a tilt side to side, but not much. You have the butterfly joint in the shoulder, you have the hinge, you have the rotation, you have a bicep swivel, you have double jointed elbows. You have a swivel in the wrist, but for some reason on mine, it's not really a problem on the pinkish one, but on this one, it's kind of difficult to twist the, the wrists. This, the hinge works perfectly fine, but because they have alternate hands, you can go ahead and just pop this out. So if you really wanted like a different uh, pose, you could just pop it out and pop it back in in a different position. If you wanted to kind of do like a grasping hand something like that uh it's just a little little caution now see here it's moving around a little bit but for sometimes when i try to move it around it gets a little tight so just to be a little cautious with that you have a kind of swivel joint here in the torso you have a abdomen crunch there towards the waist you don't have a side to side swivel you can kick forward you can kick out to the side about that far can't really go back because he does kind of have like a butt flap here that stops it you have a thigh swivel you have a double jointed knee and the one knee on mine was a little stiff but it loosened with time you have a boot swivel here and then you have a hinge and you can see it's a little tight on mine you can kind of hear the ratchet joint there and then you have a swivel or rocker in the ankle so pretty much all the articulation that you're used to for lightning collection figures and they both have the exact uh, articulation the two figures are exactly the same just different coloring uh, but they look really cool. I think they did a great job on the head sculpts. The simple head I think looks really good, but the open head I think is even more detailed and really, really well done. They did a nice job with this. The detailing in there and the paint applications, really sharp. The metallic gold looks really good. So two really excellent figures. Now let's get into all the accessories because this pack comes with a lot. So we start off with those heads like I mentioned. You have two closed heads, two open heads, so you could have both with the open head, both with the closed, whatever you prefer. I was really afraid they were going to do just one of each, but I guess that doesn't really make sense because then you wouldn't be able to switch them out. But I am glad that you get four heads total, so I really do appreciate that. Uh, you have these effect pieces, which we've seen before, kind of the punching effect pieces. To use these, you do get some alternate hands. Now, you don't get a full closed fist set, as I drop this one. You get two right fists that are closed fists, and then you get two left hands with this kind of like open grasping. This is kind of a standard supervillain like grasping at something pose hand, which I like and I appreciate. But you can't give like one cog two closed fists. So you can kind of alternate. They have these grasping hands, which is what they come in the box with. And then you have this like reaching out hand, which isn't really meant to grasp anything. It's just kind of like a pose hand. And then you get the closed fist. So the closed fist would be used with these. You just go ahead and push this in here. And I'm probably not demonstrating this great. But. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> it just kind of fits on there like that. 
You could probably put this on the grasping hand as well. Let's see. Uh, is it just a little too... Here, I'll go ahead and just actually pop one of these off so we can try out the closed fist hand. And you can see they pop on and off really easily. And then this just goes ahead and pops on here like so. And that looks good. I think that really works. So we'll leave him with that. You get two of these effect pieces, which we saw with the putties. Kind of the blast effect. And this just kind of clips on to the body like so. To make it look like he's getting blasted by something. You do get two of these. So you get one of these for each, which is pretty fantastic. And then we get two versions of the staff for each. So you get a long version of the staff. And then you get a kind of uh, shortened version of the staff. And you get two of these. So again, if you want to pose, like if you want to buy a bunch of these and form an army and have them all kind of standing at attention with the same accessory, you can do that, which I think is pretty cool. And this is very simple, just kind of clips into the hand here. Not really much to it as I can't get it in here. I promise this is really not that difficult. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such difficulty with it. Just to make me look dumb on camera. There we go. So he can hold it like this. You can have him kind of hold it with two hands if you want. Whatever pose you would like to get him in. But I think that's really cool. I'm really glad they didn't cheap out on the accessories. And they gave you a full set for each cog, which I really appreciate. And uh, yeah, that's it. But it's a ton of accessories, honestly. It's really quite a bit. You can army build these guys, really deck them out with whatever poses. Like I said, if you want to make an actual army kind of standing at attention, you could have them all in a row holding their staff and just kind of being ready for attack. And I really like the effect pieces. I think this totally works. I still don't quite have this on. It almost looks like it wants to go on the other fist, but I don't have a closed fist for that side. So I'm wondering if this was, because obviously this is an effect piece we've seen previously in the line. So I'm wondering if it was meant for the other hand and uh, they just didn't give us the closed fist for that side, which is kind of weird. But I think if you push hard enough, you could probably get this in. I mean, it is a softer, malleable plastic, so you could get this to work if you wanted to do something like that. And I will say when I put the second head on, it got a little bit more snug. Still moves around perfectly fine, but does feel a little bit more snug. But yeah, these guys are really cool. I think it's fun that they're doing these army builders. I mean, we've seen army builders for Marvel Legends all the time. So I think it makes total sense with Power Rangers to do the same thing. Because obviously, they have a lot of minions throughout the history of this show. So army builders just totally make sense. And you could buy two, three, four, however many of these packs you want. And build yourself a pretty formidable COG army. So I think they did a really nice job with this pack. I definitely recommend picking it up. Last I checked, they were still in stock on Hasbro Pulse. I'm sure they're going to be available on all the other fan channel sites like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, things like that. Uh, so I would definitely look around for those. I don't know if they're on Amazon. They might be, but it might also be from a third-party seller. I don't think these are going to show up at like Walmart or Target. I think they're just kind of online exclusive, so definitely take a look at them. If you're trying to find them, take a look there to pick these guys up. But I think it's definitely worth having at least one pack because... They're great figures. Yes, they're a little simplistic, but they really came out great. Really nice detailing, really nice paint applications. You have the little bit of gold trim in a couple spots. Like I said, especially with the silver one, where parts of them are kind of metallic and kind of the torso is a little bit more of a matte finish, but then they put in those little blue dots to kind of accentuate the metallic feel, which I think is really cool. Now, this guy looks a little plain by comparison, but, I mean, they did have two different color cogs on the show, so it's pretty neat that they give you one of each. Like I said, I don't really have any complaints. I think they're really great. I think they're worth the price. I think they look good. You really get a ton of accessories. All the accessories are pretty nicely detailed, like all those extra heads and everything. Really, really great job with the heads. I was kind of blown away with how polished and, and just really nice they look. So I love them. Like I said, army build them. At least get one set, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.